Hey guys, I just wanted to show you this illustration made by this mathematician back in uh, the 1500s. His name is Arontius Phineas. That is the Latin spelling of his name, I believe, and his correct name spelling is something like that. I don't really know how to pronounce it correctly, sorry for that. Um, just going to try my best with the pronouncing and trying to show you guys the translation of this map. Um, a little bit about this guy before we get to that. He was born in Brian Khan, the son and grandson of physicians. He was educated in Paris and obtained a degree in medicine in 1522. He was imprisoned in 1524 for practicing judicial astrology, which is basically the belief that the earth is the center of the universe and the study of, you know, the heavens revolving around the earth rather than earth revolving around the sun and etc. Um, he was really talented, I think, in his drawing skills and depicting things that were relevant in his lifetime. I believe he was trying to tell us that the earth is flat and in the center of our universe and I'll show you that with this map. So let's get to the translation. Um, so up here you're gonna see this part and this just says, know thyself in Latin, and I was using Google Translator to get all these translated, and uh, just isn't the best with translation, so I did find somebody else who did a lot of the work in trying to figure out what this illustration is telling us, so I'm just going to read a little bit about it. Um, from here, this is something by Frank Jacobs, and this is actually titled, I don't know if I mentioned, The Fool's Cap Map of the World. So you can see already where it's going, how, you know, if this is your worldview in the jester suit, then you are probably a fool if this is how you believe the world looks. So... Let's read this. This is rather sinister image is one of the biggest mysteries in the history of Western cartography. Most often referred to simply as the fool's cap map of the world. It is unknown why, when, where, and by whom it was made. But um, a lot of people just are missing that it was signed here, I guess. Um, not sure. The only thing that can be said about it with some certainty is that it dates from... 1580 to 1590, but sources even differ as to the type of projection used, some referring to it as the equidistant conic, others claiming it owes more than to the techniques of the Mercator and or Ortelius, being an enthusiast rather than a specialist. I'm no one to call this. The map shows the world dressed up in the traditional garb of a court jester, the double-peaked bell-tipped cap, the jester's staff, the face is hidden or replaced by the map, giving the whole image an ominous, threatening quality that feels anachronistically modern. So, the archetype of the fool is presented here in his incarnation as the court jester is the first indicator of the map's deeper meaning. In previous ages, the fool was the court figure allowed to mock majesty and to speak the truth to power. These were rare and useful correctives to the corrupting absolutism of the monarchies of the day, but criticism of this sort was only possible if it was defanged by the grotesque appearance of the fool, preferably hunchback, slightly loopy, head dwarf, example, someone not to be taken too seriously. So all of this would have been common and current knowledge to the people viewing this map in the late 16th century. The uncomfortable truth told by this map is that the world is a somber, irrational, and dangerous place, and that life on its nasty, brutish, and short. The world is quite literally a foolish place. 
This is underlined by the mottos of biblical and classical origin dotted across the map. The legend in the left panel reads, Democritus of Abdera laughed at the world. Heraclitus of Ephesus wept over it. And I'm not even going to try. Cosmopolites portrayed it. Over the cap is the Latin version of the Greek dictum, Know Thyself. So that's what I was pointing out here. And across the cap's brow is the inscription that translates, O head worthy of a dose of hellborn. So that would be what you're seeing right here. So hellborn, I know, is the plant that induces madness and... I guess they're saying the head of the fool is worthy of a dose of that to maybe wake yourself up to the belief or the truth that the world is stationary and at the center of wherever we are. So, moving on, the Latin quote just above the map for... In the whole universe, the earth is nothing else, and this is the substance of our glory. This is habitation. Here it is that we fill positions of power and covet wealth and throw mankind into an uproar and launch wars, even civil ones. So this is actually really interesting. He's saying that people will purposely induce war, even civil ones, and just make chaos in the world to have a power over other people who don't have the knowledge that the earth is at the center, who aren't aware of how special and just insanely magical life is when we're taught that we're just a speck in the black universe amongst millions of other similar planets, um, just not the case. And I believe our friend is trying to convey this here in this fool's cap map of the world. Okay, so we're moving on to the reason for so much struggle and strife is explained in the quote below the map from a Celestius. <laughs> the number of fools is infinite. Another quote from that most depressing Bible book on the dresser's staff to the right intones, Vanity of vanities, all is vanity. Inscribed on the badges adorning the shoulder belt are a few sayings in lines with this cheerful message. Oh, the worries of the world. Oh, how much chivalry there is in the world. Is there in the world? Everyone is without sense. That's really interesting. Everyone is without sense is, I think, referring to the fact that people aren't using their senses, aka their eyesight, where that would just straight up tell you it's the earth is not a ball or it's not moving. You can't feel it. You can't see it. You're a fool if you're not using your senses and you're believing in just this false world created by people who just want to have power over you and all things are vanity every man living for some researcher for some researchers the some of these messages as well as their presentation in a cart cart cartographic setting point to a little known christian sect called the family of love this Cladocene group is said to have numbered the Flemish cartographer Ochelius in his ranks. In its ranks, is if this map is anything to go by, the family of love must be must have a pause, a rather harsh, pessimistic view of the world and of humanity's place in it. So this guy isn't quite understanding here that this is about him trying to tell people that. This isn't the correct worldview. It's very obvious to a flat earther, I think, that when you see this map here that was made in the 1500s, uh, this is something that this man was hyper aware of, Ortilius Milius. He 
knew people were fools and he knew we were all fooled into believing that the earth is not at the center, believing that it's a globe, believing in this is the way that the continents are shaped. Um, it is quite interesting though, if you do want to zoom in on the map, um, he does have Antarctica here, and it does look like it is actually much closer to these land masses than uh, some people may believe. And it's my belief, I guess, that you could say that, um, that I believe that all of these continents on Earth are somehow connected or were connected in a way that are very accessible to everyone else. And, uh, yeah, I just thought this was pretty interesting, and I didn't see any videos out there about it, so I just wanted to put it out there in the Flat Earth community and just give some light to, you know, this was made by a man who was living in 1494, and he died in 1555. So yeah, you guys can go check out this map on Google. Just type in the fool's map cap of the world. You can just type in any of these things into Google Translator, and I'm sure you'll find some interesting stuff. Like I just pointed out, um, there's a few more that I just couldn't find the meanings of. Maybe somebody out there knows Latin, and they can get you know a more accurate translation for us. But uh, there's something really interesting to say about this guy, Orintius, Orintius Phineas, however you pronounce his name, Orintius Phineas, and I think he had a lot to say for his time period. He was jailed in prison for judicial astrology, and probably just for the simple fact of believing that the Earth is at the center of the universe, so... It's really interesting that, you know, his time period is now relevant to 2016, where it looks like the same arguments are happening with the Flat Earth versus uh, the globe. So, yeah. Hope you guys like this video. Uh, just like, please, and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.